is already getting reports of tornadoes under several tornado warnings in the Dallas area. Right now we're going to zoom out just a little bit and take you uh, back to the eastern seaboard. Once the storm cell pushes out here, we shouldn't be seeing any problems in the way of severe weather, but right now seeing plenty. Several tornado watches in effect uh, in the Virginia area, actually spanning from Richmond into Norfolk right there. And as we head into the next couple of days, again, everything's starting to push eastward. So this is already happening with this particular cell, but not nearly in the clear right now. Could see potential tornadoes associated with this particular cell. Certainly looking at severe thunderstorms, hail, rain. We're talking three, four inches of rain associated with a cell like this. As we take it up to the Midwest right there again, things actually looking a little better, but we are tracking just a few cells over the Chicago area and to Indianapolis. Does look like we're just seeing a few severe cells. Doesn't look like we're seeing any tornado warnings or watches in the area, but certainly a possibility with these severe cells right here. And we're taking it back and giving you the big picture right here. Take a look Omaha and to Wichita and to Kansas there. Oklahoma City still dealing with its share of problems into Dallas. That's where we're already getting official reports of tornadoes in the area. Wedge tornadoes. That's what we've been seeing. And again, those are very, very damaging systems right there. We're talking EF2, EF3, possibly even EF4 force tornadoes there. So again, this is just a look at the big picture and just lots going on to the east right now. Still dealing with the severe weather over the next couple of days. But as I mentioned earlier, a Canadian high building in over the next couple of days. And what does that mean? Well, much calmer weather once everything starts to push eastward. But right now, all of these red watch boxes just indicating the severe weather, whether it's imminent or happening right now. We're talking tornado watches. That means a tornado is imminent. Tornado warnings as well in the Dallas area, meaning that tornadoes are actually taking place right now. So again, you're looking at several watch and warning boxes in the area. We're going to be tracking this for you in your forecast. And of course, we're going to be tracking our local forecast much calmer than this, of course, coming up in just a little bit. Rick Sharon, back to you. All right, Evelyn. Thanks. Well, we're try trying to carve up the country now and figure out which yes. part of the country is really suffering right now. Right. It's it's yeah. it's a lot of it, right? right? Mm -hmm. We're talking the south. We're talking even the eastern seaboard right there. Yeah. We're even the Midwest uh, mm -hmm. getting hit with this. So again, it's just a massive. And it's really just affecting a lot of states. Right but it's now. not going to affect us, right? It's not going to affect us because what's we're happening? We're so ethnocentric. <laughs> right? <But> really, <laughs> honestly, I want to know me, what me, are me, what, me, us, 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 us. Yeah, we don't need to worry about it. Really. Well, weather so moves from west to east yeah. uh, here, so usually, you know, we see it and then it moves across the country. And at this point, uh, everything's moving eastward, so mm. okay. we're out of it. Yeah, so it wouldn't be moving right. the other way. And if it was, then ooh, we'd have bigger problems to worry about. So at this point, again, everything heading eastward uh, to the east of us, we are dealing with very severe weather. We're dealing with tornadoes. Uh, and again, this is something we're going to be looking at for the next day or two. Things gradually calming down as we head to tomorrow and by the end of the week and the weekend, a Canadian high building in for the rest of the country. And all that means will much calmer weather as everything starts to push eastward here at home, though, pretty calm weather. The only thing we're really concerned about is a little bit of coastal fog at the coast in Long Beach right now. And as we head into the next couple of days, we're just looking at a little bit of a warm up. We warmed it up a bit today, continuing to warm it up over the next couple of days as well. You'll see uh, we're currently at 59 degrees right here at the broadcast center in Studio City. Radar showing you mostly clear conditions with the exception of the coast. That's where we're expecting a little bit of that fog to make its way back into Southern California. It's going to be hugging the coastline first thing in the morning, but at this point again, looking at pretty calm conditions. You'll see right here a wind advisory in effect to our north. So you You'll see uh, we're pretty much calm in the way of wind, but we're going to show you current wind conditions just to show you what's going on. A couple spots a little windy, but no official wind advisory for you. Lancaster, 15 mile an hour sustained winds. Lake Los Angeles here at 10 miles an hour. And right here at Studio City, in Studio City, rather very calm conditions, not looking at windy conditions whatsoever. Temperature wise right now, we're pretty much into the 50s, 59 in Beverly Hills, Inglewood at 60 degrees, downtown at 62 over to Westminster, 61 in Huntington Beach. You're currently at 60. Degrees. So here's the drill. Your weather headline showing you high pressure starting to build in as it does. We're expecting a warm up. We were a little warmer today, a little warmer over the next couple of days. So getting near average temperature wise, a little bit of coastal cloud cover in the morning hours, a little sunnier by the afternoon, and that's not a coolie weekend. That's a cooler weekend, just to clarify, <laughs> not coolie. Well, we can come up with our own words. That'd be fun. You want to you want to come it's up with that? It's our version of cooler. Sure. Cooler. There we, we go. New word. It's a new, new word. word. Let's All right. tweet it. Coolie. All right, let's do it. Coolie. Coolie, man. All right, so <laughs> over the next 24 hours, we are cooling down into the 60s. By the afternoon, we're up into the 70s. 73 degrees for the basin, right around average. And looking at mostly clear conditions with just a little bit of patchy coastal fog first thing in the morning. So we're not ruling that out of the forecast. By 2 o'clock, much clearer conditions, much warmer conditions. And by 5 o'clock tomorrow evening, we're still dealing with clear 
some pretty warm conditions as well. Take a look at your forecast highs. The valleys in the Inland Empire topping out into the 80s over the next couple of days. In fact, we're warming it up by Friday. Yeah, can't complain about that. We're pretty excited. Most of us at least. Saturday into Sunday, we're cooling it down, but by cooler, we're still talking mid 70s. So that's for the valleys in the Inland Empire. As we take a look at the basin, also looking up at a pretty warm forecast. Microclimate is kicking in, so of course a little cooler in the basin. Spots like downtown getting up to 73 degrees tomorrow. 74 by Thursday. By Friday, plenty of sunshine. Little cooler, a little cloudier as we head into the weekend. And well, we'll tell you what you can expect at the coast coming up in just a little bit. But we are expecting pretty much a warm up across the board. Rick Sharon, back to you. Very cool. Yeah. Unofficial start of summer, and it's going to feel like the unofficial start of summer as we head into the weekend because, yes, we can fire up those barbecues. We're going to warm temperatures up a few degrees as we head into the weekend here. Getting a look from Mount Wilson tonight, mostly clear conditions, a little bit of coastal cloud cover first thing in the morning, and a little bit of developing tonight. But for the most part, we are dealing with clear conditions, plenty of sunshine, windy conditions to our north. So we're not looking at any official advisories in our forecast area, but we're still dealing with some breezy conditions, especially in the high desert spot. It's like Lancaster, 15 mile an hour sustained winds like Los Angeles at 10 miles an hour. And as we head over to temperatures right here, 62 in downtown Beverly Hills at 59 and Sino 59 degrees and over to Orange County. You're into the 60s this evening, 60 in Huntington over to Santa Ana, 61 Westminster. You're currently at 61 degrees. So here's the drill over the next few days. Weather headlines showing you high pressure building into the forecast as it does. It's going to warm us up by a couple of degrees. We're talking 70s and 80s, still a little cooler along the coast because we are still uh, waiting for the coastal clouds to sort of stay in the forecast. Not really looking at any clearing in that regard, but by the afternoon we are looking at sunnier conditions and take a look right here a cooler weekend in store. You guys, I got rid of Cooley. I'm calling it cooler now. Oh, so earlier well, we I called was it growing Cooley. to like Cooley. <laughs> yeah, so I know you were kind of attached, but I figured proper English would be the best way to go. So back to you. All right, Ab, thank you. Um, hi. And temperatures gradually warming up. How warm will they go? We'll let you know coming up in a few minutes. Oh, I don't know if it's just me, but I didn't know that a raccoon and a cat could mate. Uh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> You know, now, now that you say that, Can we say that on TV. I don't know. I, you know, I, I'm speechless. I'm sorry. I can't let's, even picture. Uh, scientifically let's speaking, let's not. Let's yeah. not. Okay, we'll move on. Yeah. But really, I, I didn't know that there was such a thing as Neither a ringtail cat. There you have it. So, pure science. Very cool. Okay, we're gonna get to the forecast, uh, and as we do, you're gonna see a little bit of low cloud cover and temperatures gradually warming up over the next few days. So you'll see right here a little bit of wind, but for the most part, we're not dealing with any wind advisories in our immediate forecast area. You will see sustained winds at 14 miles an hour in Lancaster, 10 miles an hour at Lake Los Angeles and over to Corona. You're currently dealing with eight mile an hour winds. Temperature wise, we're into the 60s this evening as we head over to Orange County. Also looking at 60, 61 Westminster, 62 in Fullerton over to Cerritos. You're currently at 62 degrees. So over the next 24 hours, you'll see right here temperatures getting down to the 50s. First thing in the morning, we're up into the 60s. And by the afternoon, we're up into the 70s with plenty of sunshine. Maybe a little bit of patchy coastal fog first thing in the morning. Future cast is showing you just that around 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. By 2 o'clock, looking at much clearer conditions. And by the time we hit well, Wednesday around 5 o'clock in the evening, that's tomorrow, 545 or so. We are dealing with mostly clear conditions and pretty warm conditions. And we promised you that beach forecast. Well, we've got it for you right here. You're going to see pretty nice conditions at the beach. Tomorrow, 60s. By the time we hit Thursday, 70s. Low cloud cover first thing in the morning. A little more sunshine by the afternoon, 70 by Thursday. By Friday, we're up to 71 degrees, so pretty mild. And again, by the afternoon, we are expecting more sunshine. Saturday and Sunday, mild temperatures. We are cooling it down into the weekend. We're talking 60s at the coast, but very warm temperatures into your inland spots, the valleys and the Inland Empire right there showing you temperatures into the 80s, 80s across the board through Friday, even through Saturday with sunshine staying in the forecast pretty much every single day as we hit Sunday, just a little cooler for you into the inland spots, but we're talking 70s, so still not too bad as we head into your Memorial Day weekend there and you'll see right here for the basin in Orange County. We're calling it 70s pretty much every day of the week, so a little warmer into Thursday, even a little warmer to Friday, plenty of sunshine, maybe a little bit of cloud cover first thing in the morning as we head into the weekend, but by the afternoon, nothing but sunshine with temperatures into the 70s. Rick Sharon back to you.